that's on all I know I'm all about it and I promise I won't fall Like a pair, I'm still searching for some gold I'ma get it, that's on everything I know She moving fast, remember it was moving slow What's up, YouTubers? You already know it's Mr. JV, aka Mr. Misunderstood. On the tube. Uh, 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 uh. Turn it up. You already know what it is. Um, I was asked to make a video basically about being bisexual and the struggles that a bisexual person goes through in their day to day life. Um, what else? I think they asked me about some advice that I would give and things like that. So, let me get into that. Um, being bisexual is a kind of a hard thing to be, especially nowadays. Um, society doesn't accept bisexuals. It's either you're gay or you're straight. And if you're bisexual, then you're gay. Period. I feel like that's kind of stupid because you can't really say, oh, you don't like girls and boys. You just wanted to cover up, blah, 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 this, blah, blah, that. Uh-uh. I really don't. I like girls just as much as I like boys. Really, there's no difference. It's just, you feel me? <laughs> I do. I do what I want. You do what you can. Type shit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, no. A struggle that I go through with being bisexual, I would say, is not knowing if a person is being genuine. Um, I was talking to, I talked to a few girls before in the past, never really went anywhere because of the simple fact that me being bisexual. Um, the things that I've done in my past is like, really like messing with everything I'm trying to do now like I've had boyfriends in the past I posted us like I can dance you know I, I've made twerking videos all type of stuff all that type of stuff sort of kind of comes into play when you're trying to get in a relationship with a female a female looks at all of that unless you get you a very open-minded mature girlfriend it's never gonna work so for all you dudes out here, before you come out saying that you're bisexual, you might want to like think about it first because a girl that doesn't know me, once you tell her that you're bisexual, she'll be like, okay, you know, I feel like you, you're you a nice person, you feel me? I feel like we vibing, let's see where it goes. But if she already knew from prior, oh, he had a boyfriend, or this, or that, like everything hit her like that, she gonna be like, eh, eh, no, not happening. So, um, another struggle is, once I'm in a relationship with females, they tend to be like, oh, I really fuck with you. But then the next, in the same breath, they be like, when somebody asks them, oh, you talk to gays, they go, oh, no, nah, we just cool. What? <laughs> we just cool? What you mean? Like, whatever. Um, what else? Um, another story that I go through, okay, so, I started talking to this girl now, that works for me and my job. We were cool at first, I love this, I love that, I got a number, and she was just like, I really liked her, like, I really do like her, so I had to, like, be honest with her from jump, even though I didn't owe her no loyalty, I don't owe her nothing, I just felt like going into something, if I want to build something with her, you might as well start it off with trust. So I went ahead and I told her, like, it's something I got to tell you. I, I want to tell you this because I don't want to just, like, have nobody else knowing more about me and you know about me. So I was like, I don't want nobody to ever be able to come up to you and tell you something about me that you don't already know. Like, if somebody come to tell you, oh, I used to date your nigga, oh, your nigga fucked me, I want you to be able to say, oh, I know, I heard you, ain't, you, you ain't got no good sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, something like that. <laughs> So I went ahead and told her, she was like, okay, I understand, and yeah, I've met somebody like that before, blah, 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 mind you, she's 22, so she's very, like, mature, she's very understanding, and so, we were going good, we were just texting, you know, I was trying to chill with her, she was like that, blah, 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 backtrack, it's like, two weeks ago, I had, um, 
went to this thing. It was like, okay, it's a club here called Club Play. And it was Mighty Boys Weekend. And everybody was here just turning big cars, like the nice cars with the big rims, loud music, you know, stuff like that. And it was a big crowd. And at first, you know, I'm just, just vibing, chilling. My friends turned up, you know, they chilling. So, you know, we turned, we drinking, I'm drinking, I'm smoking, you feel me? Just chilling. Out of nowhere, these gay boys walk past. Mind you, I don't really have gay friends. I don't like the way, I, I just don't like the vibe, period. All that sis, yes, ma'am. Mm -mm -mm. That's not for me. So I seen them walk past, I'm just like, just vibe, just chilling, you know, doing my thug, you know. Ah, ah, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just doing my thug, So, then, what happened? Then the song Ride the Stick Challenge came on. No, before that, the girl, one of my friends that I was with, went and told the dude to play some dancing music. So the girls were dancing and shit. They was like, come on, Jarvis, they hit me, hit me. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. So I'm just chilling, just vibing. And the boys over there dancing for the girls. They, you know, everybody's screaming and yelling for them, you know. So I'm just like, I'm looking like, y'all can't dance, like. Come on now, I was shaking y'all out. Like, what you doing? But in the back of my mind, I'm like, damn, I talked to this girl, even though she knows that I'm bisexual. I talked to this girl, you know, that's not something that she wants to see. Like, so I'm just chilling, chilling you know, just trying to be respectful. But y'all have to, one, <clears throat> one thing you have to understand, no matter if a dude is bisexual or not, you can't just stop something cold turkey. Like, when I go out my friends, I'm used to shaking my ass, turning up, don't give a fuck. Like, I'll be five in one minute and shaking my ass next. Like, that's just how I am, period. Like, I don't care. So, you cannot expect a dude to go from doing one thing one day and just stop cold turkey like that. Like, it don't, it don't work like that. So, I'm trying to chill. Then my friends just kept hyping me up. They trying to battle you. They trying to battle you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're going to eat them up. Eat them up. Do it, do it, do it. So, I started dancing. And, like, I start, you know, I do a little so so. Then I stop and walk off. Because, you know, I'm still thinking about, like, this girl that I really like. I'm like, I want a football. So, then the boys come over there. They, they just start trying to go in. Mind you, they still not going in. Like, y'all not even really eating. Like, you, you move it, but you ain't eating. You deal with what I'm saying? So, they... And I'm just like, <sighs> I'm just like, why is these bitches trying me? Why are they trying me? And then my best friend, she got on my ear. She was like, oh, bitch, you better eat their ass up. Mind you, my best friend is the first girl that I've ever dated in my life. Like, I was like, young, young, young. So she was like, you better eat their ass up. Get out there. They started playing Ride the Stick Challenge over. So I'm just like, mm -mm. when I started doing this, everybody just started you know what I'm saying, hey. And this one just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then I'm just like, oh, I like it, Ride the Stick. Oh, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. And that's just like, boom, boom, boom. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, act like you're riding, and then I stop. And they was like, why are you stopping? Stop playing. So then the boys come over like, one nigga had on just underwear in this whole see-through little thing. It's just underwear. He all on the ground. I'm like, hold on. He's all like this. Oh, doing all this. I'm just like... This boy don't know what he's doing. Like, you don't want me to get out here and do what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, long story short, I got out there. We did a little song, something like this. A little, you know, a little song, you know, nothing major. You know, I just went out there and ate them up real quick. And then, the next day I'm just chilling, whatever, I go to work. Mind you, she works for me. And people, everybody was recording me, all type of stuff, because I was just like, I was dancing, like I really ate them up. 
the boys, I was dancing so good that the boys was trying to battle me. They came over there to me. And I'm going to show y'all that video also. So, then it got around everybody at my job. Oh, my God. I didn't know you can dance like that. Oh, you were so cute. I did something like that. Oh, my God. But I was like, all the females come over to me. All the females. All the females. So, I'm like, fuck. If they know, she know. So, then she, me and her get into it. Going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And she's just like, if you gay, just be gay. Don't have me out here being no cuff for up, blah, 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 I was upset and I wanted to cuss her out so bad, but I couldn't get upset just due to the simple fact that I already knew that was going to happen, which is why I really wasn't trying to dance at first. You get what I'm saying? And so me and her got into it, but you know, I really fucked with her. And obviously she really liked me, so me and her got back cool or whatever. We got back right. Long story short, you guys cannot make somebody just automatically stop something cold turkey. Just because you like a female doesn't mean that you can't do the things that you enjoy. Like, if a girl can't understand you for you, then you don't need to be with them, period. Like, I accept a woman at all her faults. I don't bash you for sucking dick. I don't bash you for, you feel me, being a dummy for these niggas. Like, I don't bash you for none of that. So you shouldn't bash me for doing anything that I do. When I date a girl, I become their best friend first because I want you to know everything about me. And when we are together, even though, yeah, this is kind of gay at the same time, it's just like, that's what I do for fun. It's not like I want a nigga. It's not like I'm hunting a nigga like, like that. I'm just dancing. No, that's not something that a typical nigga would do, but you feel me? It is what it is, period. You knew she was getting yourself into before you started talking to me. So for all the women that are watching this, do not... Go and talk to no nigga if all you're going to do is false claim, act like it's just such an issue, blah, 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 blah. it's a waste of time. Like, don't do that. You wasting a nigga time. And for every nigga that is out there that's low-key, deal, all that, it's nothing wrong with that. But at the same time, if you fucking with somebody, keep it a stack with them. Don't be out here flodging like, all oh, this hood-ass nigga, but then you a booty bandit. Closet queen. Like, no, that don't mix. I don't like that. Keep it a stack no matter what. One thing about it, people gonna love you even more for being 100. If you see in here flexing, everybody gonna automatically say, oh, that nigga gay. Oh, he out here flexing. Oh, he trying to act like he really moving weight, but he really not supposed to squat it. Like, you feel me? Like, you giving people more to talk about you. You can just go ahead and just let it So, yep, it's me. What you gonna do about it? Period. Because the bitch ain't gonna do nothing. But, um, yeah, I don't really have so many struggles because at the end of the day, I'm that nigga. I don't really have struggles like that. Some advice that I would say I would give to someone, again, just keep it a honey. Like, don't sit in there and let nobody, like, don't let nobody dictate what you are. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, no, you're not gay. I mean, oh, no, you're not bisexual, you're gay. Like, don't nobody know you. Don't nobody know your life. You determine what you want to be. You get what I'm saying? Like, can't nobody determine what you are. Only you can do that. Only you know what's deep down inside. So, no matter how much people put you down, all of this, all of that, don't just go, oh, because they said I'm gay, I'm just be gay. No. People call me gay all the time. Do you think I care? No. I go and fuck their girlfriend, go and fuck their sister. Like, I'm that nigga. And you bitches gonna respect me. Gonna respect me. Gonna respect me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, though. But, yeah. Um... Did anything else in the society today? Well, honestly, with me, being bisexual really isn't a problem because girls come up to me all the time. Oh my God, you're so sexy. Why are you gay? Da, 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 this. If you weren't gay, I'd put that bitch here on you. Da, 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 this, da, da, that. Girl, if I put this bitch on you, you ain't gonna never want to stop fucking with me. So stop playing with me. And just go ahead and get with the winning team. You know what I'm saying? Like, you stop playing. What you playing for? What you playing for? But no, though. Um, I was asked, have I ever had, <clears throat> have I ever had sex with a girl? Yes. Have I ever ate a girl out? Yes. Will I do it again? Hell, fuck yeah. Um, which one do you like better? Pussy or ass? At first, for a long time, I used to say ass, but... Recently, I've been having sex with this girl, and <laughs> that pussy be gripping. When I say that pussy be gripping, I mean, I... 
feel. So I'm kind of fucked up about the pussy. So I think I like pussy better. There you have it. I like pussy better. Am I going to change the way I act? No. If you can't accept me for who the fuck I am, fuck you. Period. I mean, you feel me? It's certain shit that I do now that I wouldn't do around a female, you feel me? If I can get a girlfriend, of course, I'm going to act according to it, you feel me? I'm going to act like the nigga. But you feel me? People got to understand, my personality changes with the people that I date. Like, if I, say if I date a nigga that's real masculine. Yeah, the, the more girly size, you know... The more girly song gonna come out. If I didn't nigga that's more feminine, of course you feel me. The hood nigga gonna come out of me like that, that's just how it is. And if I'm fucking with a girl, you feel me definitely like yeah, like I'm I'm really on that. Like it's just that simple. Like I I can really do that shit. So I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I don't know what the future may hold. So whether I may just start fucking with men, period, or whether I start fucking with women, period, or maybe I just do both. I don't know, but what I do know is I'm not going to stop living. I'm going to live day by day, and until God call me home, I ain't changing. There ain't, ain't no point. There's no point of being fake. That's something that I hate. Don't be fake. If you gay, be gay. Don't sit out here trying to date no girl just to have a cover up. No, 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 no. If you gay, be gay. Fuck what anybody got to say. People going to talk about you till the day you die. Period. And that's another thing. I have gotten a repetition for fighting and beating bitches up because they be calling me gay. Don't get that. Yeah, it's a good thing and a bad thing, but no, it's really more so of a bad thing because it's just like, bitches gonna continue to talk no matter what. Look at me. People, I look damn good and people still talk about me like, it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Like, you, you can't prevent somebody from talking about you. But if they talk about you, stun on them hoes. Do something that these hoes can't do. Everything, every day I wake up, I say to myself, I'm the baddest bitch out here. Ain't nobody fucking with me. Ain't nobody on my level. These hoes talk about me. Oh, I'm an extra. Okay, well, bitch, I'm going to be that extra ass bitch. Or oh, I'm a fag. I'm going to be a faggot ass nigga. You feel me? Especially with these females that be coming at me. Oh, you a faggot this. Oh, you want to be a girl? No, boo. I don't want to be a girl. I want to be me. And that's what you hoes hate. I think it was just that hoe. You call me a fag, I'm gonna go fuck your nigga purposefully. And I might even record it. So that's just how I am. That's just that's just my attitude that I got about shit. Like, can't nobody put me down on none of that because at the end of the day, it is what it is. I've done it. There's no taking it back. So that's my advice to y'all. Don't let nobody dictate what you want. If you if you feel like that you wanna be a girl. I mean, if you feel like you want to be with a girl, be with a girl. If you feel like you want to be with a nigga, be with a nigga. If somebody got something to say about it, the only way they going to continuously come at you is if every time somebody say something, you cry, you oh, I don't understand why people calling me gay, I'm not gay, none of this. That's going to make them come for you even more. The reason why people don't really come for me is because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna talk about at a young age. Fuck these niggas. Fuck these bitches. Do you? And if they don't like you, fuck them and don't fuck with them. And if they don't fuck with you, then they don't fuck with me. Period. That's how I'm gonna be since I was legit. So, hey, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, but yeah, thanks. This is my first YouTube video. Um, I plan on doing more for y'all. I don't even know if people are really going to watch me or not, but I'm going to continue to do this just for me because I just feel like my mouth and my personality, I deserve to let people know who I am. And it's me, JD, on the mic. JD on the mic, on the ones and motherfucking twos. But yeah. I have fun. Um, this is my first YouTube video. Hopefully, I start doing more stuff. I'm going to have guest people on my thing. I definitely want y'all to meet my gang. So, I'm definitely going to make a YouTube video with my gang, whether they want to or not. Um, and, yeah, just like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what y'all feel, how y'all feel about this. More stuff that I should comment on. More videos I should make. Should I do pranks? Should I do dares? People that I should bring on, either via it be my ex, first love, any, anything like that, anything like that. Whatever y'all want to see, just let me know and I'm down. But yeah, for real, like, so, uh, <laughs> like, subscribe, and comment below. 
And follow me on Instagram at J dot A dot R dot V dot one dot S. Not I, but one dot S. Thank y'all. Sissy <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it up, let him hit you from the back, let him hit you from the back.